Once upon a time. Once upon a time. That's how you start a story. Certain fairy tales, growing up as a kid, once upon a time, those were important words. Well, how does once upon a time help you in court cases, in criminal cases, and protection order cases? If you want to find out, stay tuned because this is the video for you. My name is attorney Lance Freiberg, and I'm a defense attorney in Linwood, Washington. My law firm's been defending people charged with crimes for more than 20 years. We're putting out these videos to help educate the public. So if you find this video useful, please like and please subscribe. More people will get the help they need. So jumping right into it. Once upon a time, why is this lawyer talking about something that sounds like a fairy tale? Well, the reason why I'm talking about it is how people make decisions. Okay, people, uh, tend to think that deciders decide on facts, F-A-C-T-S. But as you might guess nowadays here in 2022 when I'm filming this, you know, are there even facts? There's alternative facts, there's fake news, there's all that stuff. And so do people really decide on facts or they do they decide upon emotion, okay? I submit that people decide on emotion and then choose whatever facts they want to justify their decision later. And so in our training in my office, we've learned that if we try to get information from a client, either a criminal client or a protection order client where they have to tell the whole story of their life or the situation, um, just saying what happened isn't good enough. If we say uh, what happened, we might get, well, um, I was uh, at home and we had an argument and my uh, sniffing other uh, called me a bad name so I threw a bottle of water at them. Well, those are the facts, okay? Um, but it doesn't really, it's not very emotional, doesn't paint a picture about, you know, why it happened, what was going on, what is, what's some context? So it can be useful to start your retelling of the events, start your story with once upon a time. If we said, hey client, Tell us about what happened there. Well, it started with once upon a time. Well, once upon a time, I was at home with my sniffing other and we had just been out at the park. And it was a really nice day and we really liked to go to the park because it's something that he or she always wanted me to do. And when we got home, uh, we sat down on our uh, couch and we watched a movie and the movie we watched was one that really my partner didn't really like. And she started to really, you know, you know, yell about uh, a certain uh, actor and I got mad and we had a fight. Okay, now, sort of a dumb example, I know, uh, because I do these things on the fly. But the bottom line is when you start once upon a time with a story, um, you get more descriptive and you get more emotional and less just the facts, okay? And us attorneys, uh, we need to know that. We might also do some role playing with you to try to, to get out the facts. Uh, we might have you play uh, the role of the other side if it was your girlfriend or something, you know, and say, okay, describe yourself. What are you feeling, right? When you play the role of the girlfriend in this situation, we're gonna hear you describe yourself. And so um, the bottom line is this video is about trying to uh, make uh, uh, the, the world understand that what drives decisions is in fact, it is emotions. And an adjunct to that is you can also start a story long ago and far away. Um, if I were to say, uh, tell me about the story, you know, tell me about your father. What does he do? What do you want to tell me about your dad? Well, uh, my dad's a retired postal worker and uh, he helped raise me and uh, he's in his 80s and now he lives next door to me. Okay, that would be, you know, my version of, you know, what I might say about my dad. Um, now, if I start that same story long ago and far away, well, long ago and far away, my dad was born in Kentucky and he grew up uh, with uh, multiple uh, brothers and sisters and didn't have much food to eat. He lived in a uh, uh, house on a hill with dirt floors. His father was a tobacco farmer and uh, he's the only one in his family to graduate high school when he went back in his 20s. Uh, he joined the Air Force. Uh, that's how he sort of got out of the poverty and he met my mother in a bowling alley. Um, so, you know, when I started that long ago and far away, uh, I told more. So which one are you more emotionally drawn to? The fact he was a postal worker and retired 
or the story that naturally came out of me when I started and activated my brain in a different way. And it's something good to think about when you're trying to describe to your attorney, um, in this case, you know, to try to describe something that draws them to you so they're more able to tell your story to the uh, prosecution, to the court, whoever it needs to be told to. So that's why once upon a time, and a long ago and far away um, are both uh, ways to sort of cue that storytelling part of your brain. So uh, I know it's a bit of a different video, but I hope you found it useful. Again, it's my role, I think, out there to help uh, ease people's suffering, uh, and it happens to be in the criminal field where I'm doing this. Um, and if you find this useful, please like and please subscribe. More people get to hear this. And if you're charged with a crime or you've got a protection order or something like that, you need some help, feel free to give our office a call. Again, my name is Lance Freiber. I've been defending people charged with crimes for more than 20 years, and we'll listen to what happened, we'll identify a way forward, and we will be there for you. Thank you.